This is 1982 peak Canada of dollar in MS67 plus condition. The 1982 peak Canada of dollar is one of the scarcer issues in gem condition. It is similar in scarcity to the 1984 D and 1990 D. The 1982 P is common in circulated grades up to MS65 grade. In MS66, it's a little bit tougher but still easily available, with hundreds, if not thousands, still out there. In MS67, it now becomes very scarce. This gem was sold for $2,925 with buyer's fee. This is 1972 Jefferson Nickel in MS67 condition with full steps. Georgia's gold and pastel rainbow tones grace both sides of this premium gem. Lusters and fully struck is a fantastic piece for the registry collector. It was sold for $2,500. Here is 2000 P Saka Javier dollar in MS68 condition, graded in the mid state 68 by NGC. The so called Cheerios dollars were distributed as a promotional gimmick in boxes of breakfast cereal. The characteristic that distinguishes them from ordinary 2000 P Saka Javier dollar is the tailed feather work on the eagle's tail feathers. This example is exceptionally well preserved with bright, semi reflective brass gold surfaces. It is housed in a custom two coin NGC slab with 2000 Lincoln cent, which is graded MS66 red. It was sold for $6,600. This is 1974 Eisenhower dollar in MS66 plus condition. Predominantly pearl gray surfaces reveal intermingled powdery blue, olive gold, and pale pink highlights under a light. Expertly produced and very carefully preserved. With a mintage of more than 27 million coins, the 1974 copper nickel Eisenhower dollar is not a rare issue, however, not a lot of attention was paid to it at the time of production and few gems are known. Several factors account for lack of nice examples, they were carelessly made and had overall low relief making them more susceptible to early wear, especially when jostled around in pockets or stored in sacks. These MS66 Plus specimen fetched a sum of $2,640 at auction, and the most expensive lot of these episodes, 1926S, Lincoln sent in MS65 red condition. During 1940s and 50s, collectors retrieved numerous 1926S cents from circulation, providing a supply of worn pieces for modern numismatists. However, circulated representatives become noticeably more elusive in AU levels. And mid state examples of this issue are all more challenging to locate, particularly with original red color. Most mid state examples known are either attractively lustrous but poorly struck or sharply impressed but toned brown. This specimen is fully lustrous. Satin orange gold surfaces yield boldly rendered design elements, and the eye appeal is nothing short of remarkable for the issue. It ended up selling for $102,000. 1941 Washington Quarter in PR68 plus condition. Bright silver gray interiors border amazing peripheral shades of peach orange, magenta, violet, and forest green hues on both sides. The underlying surfaces of this superb gem proof are unmarked and fully struck up. This time for the finest collection of the proof Washington Quarters, it was sold for $3,720 on August 18th. 2023. This is 1965 Jefferson Nickel from Special Mint Set. A profound strike and condition rarity that combines an uncommon degree of field to device contrast for the type with virtual pristine surfaces and tone with captivating silver white appearance. The 1965 is the most challenging of the three regular issue SMS Jefferson Nickels of the 1960s to locate with deep camera designation from PCGS. This proof gem ended up selling for $3,120. Here is 1978 the Eisenhower dollar in MS67 condition. According to Stax Powers, roughly handled by Treasury Department employees and bank personnel, circulation strike Ike dollars as a type are rare in Super Gem Mint State. This final year Denver Mint example is impressively smooth with subtle toning in iridescent powder blue and champagne apricot. It was sold for $1,140. Moving on with his 1929S Lincoln Center MS66 Plus wet condition, the 1929S is one of more challenging issues in the Lincoln Center series in gem or finer full red grades, and it is rare at the premium gem red level. 
Set in a copper orange luster encompasses each side while the design elements show above average definition. A few tiny carbon specks are noted upon close examination, though the surfaces are otherwise beautifully preserved. It was sold for $14,400. 1912S Lincoln sent in MS65 Plus red condition. The 1912S is a challenging date to acquire with full red color, and it is particularly scarce at the gem level. This high-end beauty boasts lovely copper red coloration and strong luster throughout. This one was sold for $3,112. This lot includes set of two 1968s error nickels. First one is a mint state 64 red and is struck on a Lincoln cent, so-called double denomination coin. The second one in mint state 65 red, struck on a cent planchet. This lot fetched a sum of $1,440 on August 20th, 2023. Here is 1920 Lincoln cent in MS67 plus red condition, comes with green CAC sticker on this PCGS slab. A CAC proven coin refers to a coin that has been evaluated and endorsed by the Certified Acceptance Corporation. CAC is a third-party coin authentication and grading service that focuses on the evaluating coins that have already been graded by major grading companies such as NGC or PCGS. The CAC proven superb gem was sold for $25,312.50 with buyer's fee. Here is 1944 Washington quarter struck on a zinc-plated steel planchet. Graded in mid state 62 by NGC, a magnetic zinc plated steel sands were struck in 1943, and the alloy was also used in 1944 to strike a much smaller quantity of 2 francs at Philadelphia Mint for war torn Belgium. One of the aforementioned zinc plated steel sands, in use for only two years, ended up between 1944 Washington quarter dies to become these of metal mint error. The present mint state example was struck flush with color dye near 6 o'clock and has a bold date. Liberty and the denomination are altogether absent. This wartime error quarter was sold for $16,800. Moving on with this 1964 Lincoln cent struck on silver 10 cent blank. Due to insignificant amount of difference in planchet size, all letterings are available, though in God we trust is a little bit distorted and weakly struck. Overall coin has a very nice eye appeal, graded in mean state 65 by PCGS, this error penny was bargained for $1260. This 1920 Lincoln cent struck on an experimental planchet. Graded in mint state 64 by PCGS, the PCGS insert state's alloy is 82% copper, 16% zinc, and 2% tin, which scents, aside from 1943 dated steel issues, are typically 95% copper. This satiny and well-struck scent has olive gold color unusual for a Lincoln scent of any year, essentially devoid of marks, though we note small spots near the ST in the trust and relatively small spot east of the Lincoln's nose. The overs ring between 1.30 and 3 o'clock has a few minute depressions as made. It ended up selling for $5,280.